people to attention. And the customary show of respect, Desiri, so good in this distance here. And concentration important for Taylor Castoglu in that clinch. Good back leg there from Beji Hachigani. And of course the champions have all the skills, but they know the right time to use them. As Taylor Castoglu finds his feet here in this first final. Good push kick there from the Greek. Decent start for him. Yeah, definitely. As soon as the first time they went in the clinch, you could tell he's been doing his homework on Millard. He had that right arm up to stop that left crescent coming in. Well, the technical analysis provided by Greek Britain's Bradley sending the first ever world champion in the mains groupings. And the analysis is so important, as you say there. Apostolos Teleskalol, who does well to avoid, but the punch lands this time. A jumping punch as well. Given that the Aziri stands at 1 meter 97, 6 foot 6, as he extends that leg again. Headshot, no response. Yeah, taking taking the clinch back straight back to him. Amazing, uh, taking up a shot, then being able to stay composed and get straight, get them point straight back. Good punch there on the way in there from Beji Hachigani. No love from the judges. No response from the coaching corner. They're happy with that Gamjon going up. And that one, yep. Telekastoglu acknowledging that one. Goes without saying, doesn't want to give away those kind of free points. And Beji Hachigani. Probably the most active we've seen him so far. Punch almost registering. 30 seconds to go in this first round. Yeah, he has to stay active because Millard will pick his shots off such a long leg length and you can tell he's constantly getting his foot on the body armour and that take, will take a toll on the, the greaser's mind, thinking, is that going to score, is that going to score? Then the one, when you're thinking about it, it does score. So important that insight, it's the occupying the mental territory of the opponent, living rent-free in their head, giving them fits and lots to think about. Ten seconds to go in this first period and it's been a good start. Telekastoglu not committing too much, wants to get back to his coach and figure it out. He knows the reality now of fighting against Mila Hellas, which is for Greece. And they need plenty of support for the Iranian by way now of Azerbaijan. Back leg turning kick lands nicely, good block there on the inside from the Greek fighter who lands that big punch there. Telekastoglu unlucky not to score. You can see both of them just putting the foot on the pad, keeping that distance. Nice punch from Millard. Yep, that accuracy, that quality. Nice shot again with a back leg turning kick. A little bit different from the Aziri. I think that's a great option, to be fair. I've seen quite a lot of athletes do it. You surprise him with that back leg straight into a crescent. And normally, one of them score, but Greece do well to cover both. Covering himself well there is the Greek, Telekastoglu, who grabs a headshot. Milad Beji Hachigani has a little look as if to say, well, that is something gone wrong on the inside. It may be a technical issue. No problem with the technique to the head. But Juling Fang just checking there that the batteries are included. And he'll run over for a, a little check with the technical people. I think it seems to be OK. Uh, we've, we've talked about it. Oh, glad that we don't have to talk about it. I thought it was going to be a little delay there. But they're back underway here. All square at 6 all. A minute or so to go in this second round. This, of course, the final. Great, great headshot there. Just been just unlucky not to just miss or just not register. But then definitely putting his foot on the pad, like taking that weary away from Greece. Like thinking, oh, is it going to score? Then just changing, adapting the technique. Well, adapting the technique. Is the Greek, can he do something about this one? Beji Hachigani on form. Back leg counter there. And again, good block on the inside from the Aziri. That crescent kick this time. As you said, Telekastoglu trying to do the same. Half of a minute to go in this second round. Greece is battling him really well. He's taking one of Millard's main games away from him, working on that clinch, getting that arm up then being strong in the clinch to read what's happening and be comfortable and composed, it's one of the main attributes. 
As you see, those attributes paying off also. Beginning there, Beji Hachigani steps it up. Only a few swings and a miss with those big legs, but takes the step in. A bit of footwork from the man in red. And Telika Stoglu in trouble now, that punch just sliding past. 9-6 on the board into the last 10 seconds now. Good reverse tunny kick attempt there, right round the corner. Great by both, that was a nice back leg high. Just unlucky to miss, but then great counter back reverse by Miller. Don't normally see him do that type of attributes. Absolutely right. The lesser spotted reverse turning kick from the man from Baku. As he goes back, he needs it for Milad Beji Hachigani. Apostolo, Telekastoglu, the Greek fighter in blue. Can he find a way through? Good back leg attempt there. That quickness of the welterweights. The under 80s have the speed and the power. Good flick to the face, gets close. Yeah, like I said, always picking his shots, always knows exactly what to throw. But Greece is going to have to give it everything, and I think he will. You want to give everything you can. You know, you know you've lost trying. As you say, trying to go out on his shield here, Telekis Doglu. Still got time. Good back leg turn and kick. Well, I'm surprised how many we've seen from Beji Hartigani. Usually using that front leg to good effect, but changing things up here. And that's a credit to the Greek Telekis Doglu. Tries with a step through back kick of his own. Bit of variety now. Yeah, both of them trying things out of the locker. Greece needs something to come out, so big shots like that could bring him back into the game. Well, we'll start with a punch, but he concedes a headshot on the way through. Like I said, another fight. Sometimes when you do go for it, it can go the opposite way, but give everything you've got and it might not turn out in your way, but maybe the next time it will. For sure. No regrets is the mantra now. For Telekis Doglu halfway through this third round, it could be the final round as Beji Hachigani gives away the Gamjon for kicking low. Ten point game. Like I said, another another spin coming out and it will close to just missed again, but puts him down once more. He does indeed, puts him down, and as he down and out, goes for the big jump reverse again. Oh, so close. And that shows some level of fitness here. Six matches later, still leaping and kicking. What a shot. But all three finals today have been big scores. As we said, like, you don't normally see that, but it just shows how skillful each athlete are and how we set game plans with the coaches and know exactly what to do. Yeah, game plan's working. Tactics spot on. Good punch from Milad Beci Hachigani. Trying to finish with a flourish here. Last 20 seconds. Telekis Doglu. Well, it looks like it will be silver for Greece. A real credit-worthy effort. And Milad going out with a flourish. Yeah, definitely. Most sometimes athletes, even though they're that high up, they just try and leave it and try and take it to the end. But you can see Milad's enjoying it, having fun in front of the crowd, wanting to give them a spectacular. And But then Greece gave it his own back and just got a nice reverse body. He did score a nice reverse to the body, but he couldn't reverse the fortunes there. The man from Azerbaijan claims the title. Nice show of respect between the two. An emerging talent. Apostolos Telekistoglu with the silver medal.